Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I need to film a short video because it is freaking hot. I don't know, and my hair isn't going to cool me down. But I probably look the exact same as in my last video. That's because I haven't had much time recently to film videos. So I'm doing a few on the same day and it is so hot in the UK. So got rid of my straps. I swear I'm not naked. I have a top on under here. But anyway, today's video, I want to do a bit of renovating. So I was racking my brains thinking, what is the ugliest lot in The Sims 4? And <laughs> there's a lot but i thought let's keep it hip let's keep it recent and evergreen harbour obviously is the new world with some new builds so i was having a look this house over here in particular has caught my eyes it looks like it's in a beautiful area with all the landscape and the lime and that kind of stuff however it is a square with a few windows and literally no garden or anything and i think it's such a shame because all the houses everywhere else also don't have anything to it and this one like right next to it even look like it's not got roof trims like at least this one have roo has roof trims i just feel like in such a beautiful location why have we got such a horrible house so inside like it's not it's not terrible because obviously we've got some nice things in the new pack but it is very bare <laughs> so to renovate it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep the same style to it so i'm gonna keep like the front garden the balcony that kind of thing but i am just gonna add like just give it a little bit more interest i'm thinking that's how we're going to go about it so first off by door by window by a window by by everything i'm going to delete everything basically but i always find to make a build a little bit more interesting just adding like different shapes to it kind of does something else to the house i'm not using any custom content so if you want to download it you can go ahead and do that right what wall height are we at we're at level two so let's get ourselves a nice inviting front door much more inviting than that other front door was i mean i'm not sold on the shape this house yet also this is my new favorite door like do you not think it is it's beautiful why haven't i seen it before i like it in this blue color i think i'm gonna extend this just around the house a little bit so it's a bit bigger and then maybe just add a bit of an extension i'm gonna add some like funky little columns to make it actually look like it's a poster stand up and it won't just fall wood hedges look nice as a fence i might put hedges up there and then we can landscape a little bit i don't know what i'm doing i have no idea what i'm doing at all i'm just gonna go ahead and like add certain parts to be this sliding stuff oh it doesn't look anything like the original one and a renovation isn't changing it that much and i've changed it so much oh it's just such an ugly shape don't you think i'm gonna add a similar roof to what the other houses have which just seems to be this wait am I, is mine the wrong way no no next door has a similar one but i'm gonna put mine down a little bit and i may get rid of this front balcony so we're not getting rid of the balcony because we've still got it on that shape but I quite like what this one over here has done with the front of the roof. I think I've kind of managed to come up with a house shape and thing that I'm happy with. I mean, I'm not sure about the wind, that chimney. I thought maybe it could look a little bit modern, a little bit more eco, but I just don't think it fits. Like it is so hard trying to fit this in with the rest of the town because <laughs> their houses are so trash. I also really wanted to use these windows here. So these are the new ones in eco lifestyle, just like slat slatted, slant sunshine window screens i just think they're really pretty and there's the back of the house obviously i'm gonna add a back garden and some like flowers on the side of the house that kind of thing so i mean i know my usual trick is just like bang a load of flowers everywhere and make it look nice and i think i'm gonna do that as well today maybe just a few bits here as well i'm gonna have some like lovely seating outside and on the balcony i think i'm still not 100 sure if i like the idea of having like a hedge on your balcony like how first off how would that stop you falling off and second off how would you keep it so perfect you'd have to get a big ladder so i don't know what to do i think about my builds way too much okay i'm just thinking into it as though i was living there even though i'm not a computer generated person Person, even though I would like to because sims are very symmetrical and beautiful. Ah, I don't know. I don't hate that cats and dog one. I've also used the cats and dogs door, which is so good now because look, it's a free square. So before I'd have been like, oh, 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 it won't, it won't fit. However, however, now it fits in the middle and life is good. I don't know if I'm going to go like super flowery on the outside. I don't know. We've got a lot of like greys and stuff going on. So I don't know if it really needs it. Maybe just, I think you'd have them here because then you can take care of them 
them. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead. I know the back of the house is kind of boring, but back of the house is always are. But that's what the back garden is going to be for. So you can see, like, the rest of these houses, although quite overgrown. I wonder if that changes as the city gets, as the, yeah, as the city gets better. I know all the rubbish gets cleaned up. So I'm going to add a cute little back garden, and I really, really, really want to use these new fences. Oh, yeah, of course. I can't. Wait, you can... Do it if you go that. Okay, yeah, you can do it like that. She would have like a big privacy back garden. I feel like it's a lot, obviously, not this colour. It's very tall. <laughs> Could we maybe see what the shorter version looks like? Yeah, I feel like the shorter version looks a little bit better because it's not as, oh my gosh, you've got a huge fence kind of vibes. Why can we do it with the doors but not with the gates? That is, that is not cool. That is not cool. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to like move this. Oh, and it just becomes a whole palaver sims and then that looks a little bit better what i think i'm gonna do just to kind of make the hedges feel a little bit more same it is use some of the actual landscaping hedges like this up against it okay yeah okay yeah i'm feeling it i am feeling this build a bit more now i was at one point thinking i'm really warm i'm getting stressed how can i make this house look good is it possible i'm still not sure if i should just change it all to be in this sliding or at least more of it you know something it still matches a little bit more it's on the accent pieces i don't i never really understand how to properly do it it's on parts of it and then the rest of it is sliding there we go at least and it looks a little bit more in the neighborhood except <laughs> this family have made Made much more of an effort with their house than their neighbors have and look at all the trash so much trash kind of want to change the grass to make it look a little bit more like it's been cared for you know because whenever you're walking around everyone's lawns in their front garden look so much more cared for than you know the lawn on the street don't you think i mean it's obviously all still coming from the same lawn seed I don't know, I don't know, gardens and whatever. Stop talking about grass because you obviously don't know what you're on about, Lois. <laughs> yeah, so far looking good. Let's choose out a nice tree. What trees around here? Oh, we've got a few of these like evergreeny ones. I hope we've got any new eco lifestyle trees. Oh yeah, let's have a nice evergreen. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. Put a few of those trees around here. Where did I get that one from? Why have I lost it already? And then maybe we'll have like a proper back garden tree. I don't know, an apple tree, something like that. There, make it look a little bit cute. This is definitely my favorite tree <laughs> at the moment making like little flower areas i feel like it's so overdone <laughs> it just finishes the place off okay i'm not apologizing and get some cute little potted plants as well maybe this cute new eco lifestyle one i love that it's on a plant stand and let's add like a cute little bench to chill out on i don't know what kind of vibe i'm decorating this in I do love a good outdoor sofa though i'm kind of getting a vibe that it's maybe an elderly couple who live here i'm not sure we'll see what it's like when we get inside right we've got some benches what else outside give them a barbecue always i seem to add a barbecue to all my builds because barbecues are just fun since we're in evergreen harbor as well we'll give them a dumpster because i feel like they just put dumpsters everywhere and um, we'll pretend it's not theirs it's like a sidewalk dump dumpster they can have their own bin and i'm going to give them a green one and we're going to say this is garden waste recycle your garden waste and i feel like that's the outside of the house pretty much done oh no mailbox delete that mailbox they gave us let's give them a bit of a fancy the mailbox i do love the seasons ones oh and it comes in like a similar gray stone so there we go should i also add this floor in here as well oh yeah that looks that looks good so much more put together what do you think to the outside compare like compare my outside to the house next to it outside um yeah i feel like it's a bit nicer i'm still not 100 sure on it because it's not really my kind of style but i'm gonna move on to the interior anyway before i obsess about it and nothing gets done i'm just gonna go ahead and delete just about everything literally just about everything i might keep the stairs in where they are because don't hate it keep that as a bathroom there though why not so right downstairs kitchen living room is what they had so that's what we're gonna do but obviously ours is gonna look a lot nicer the thing with having these stairs here is like i feel like that's just a bit of wasted space but it does actually look quite nice with the walls up so yeah that can be the little bathroom area although it does cut the window in half and i i do really hate that what about in the bathroom you can just see underneath the stairs is that weird we're gonna have a underneath the stairs bathroom it can be like storage for things i don't know it's gonna be a very odd bathroom not really sure what's going on right so we've got a huge huge 
huge space to work with. So I'm thinking, oh, it is huge. I kind of want to section it off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start on the living room then. So I really want to use the new Eco Lifestyle sofa because this is currently my favorite sofa. Obviously, I'm going to go with a lot of grey because apparently that's what's going on today. Also, we've got a chimney. So, oh my god. I love it. <laughs> I love it. New Eco Lifestyle fireplace. Oh my gosh, I like it in grey. Oh, it's kind of blue. Oh my, it's so nice though. It's so modern. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going quite modern inside, <laughs> it seems. I really like this coffee table and I've never seemed to be able to use it because it's always just so big and just doesn't, I just never really have room to use it. But if I do a wall mounted TV, to be honest, even on a little cabinet, it's going to work. There we go. Well, I'd like a green rug. No, no, it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. Maybe this colour green is maybe a bit more of a vibe. I don't know. Oh, I hate rugs. Well, I, I love rugs. Rugs add so much, but choosing them takes me so so freaking long. We'll add a colourful floor lamp, even though I really am not a floor light kind of fan. I don't know. Don't know what it is. I like this tiny living one though because it's got a little table on too. Look, we'll add a plant in a colourful colour on top of here. There we go. It's basically a colourful lamp. Don't know how that plant will stay alive, but apparently it will do. And we can add colour in the paintings. So I do really like the tiny living prints, as I'm sure you already know. I'm gonna use that mixture and yeah, it's looking kind of cute. And now you know the drill to make the room look more lived in and just just a nicer room we add loads of clutter which i struggle with <laughs> without my custom content because i've got about i've got about a million pieces of clutter in my custom content folder and when you take that away from me i don't have many i do really wish you could add cushions on sofas you know like a separate piece i feel like that would be so much fun i'm gonna add this little succulent here this is one of my new favorite pieces <laughs> Do you just think it's like so cute with the little succulents coming over? Adorable. Also, I've still not done a build where I use these yet, and they're so gorgeous, don't you think? But I don't know. I don't feel like this is the kind of house just to have a random living wall. Although, could it be? Could it be? It kind of looks more like art than plants, don't you think? Okay, then the hallway, another place that I always struggle with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add like some shoe racks and coats, that kind of thing. I'm gonna raise the the shoes up a little bit so it's like a taller one i've seen people do that before i know the boots can emerge it looks it looks a bit strange because one of the shelves is like really small but yeah we're leaving it right so there's a little hallway i'm gonna add some art bits and rugs and that kind of thing so we're gonna have to fit the kitchen and the dining room around here so obviously we've got these walls that we're gonna have to work with so i'm thinking a dining table over there would look absolutely beautiful and then the kitchen may be coming around here i think i'll use this kitchen set which is just your base game one so if the kitchen kind of stops maybe about there if we add a little end piece then you can still use the stairs try and bear in mind that i do want to add a dining table so i don't want to make it too big oh okay how about if we just do just do one of these where you choose four corner bits you've got a square finally finished decorating like the hallway area i've changed up the hallway i've added this bench in from sit living and i've tried to make those look like cushions i don't know if i've managed to make it look good but i've also added stuff underneath to make it still look lived in not like it's super modern whatever but added this like runner and <laughs> yeah i'm trying to keep it a little bit more family oriented also these lights over the counter i thought it looked very cute but let's tackle the kitchen now because I've not added a fridge and I don't know where a fridge is going to go because we've got windows. Oh, maybe this side. Oh, good idea. Right, uh, fridges. I'm going to go with this fridge. Does that leave enough space? What about there? That's, I know it's a strange place to have your fridge, but then it means it doesn't claw up the rest of my counter arrangement. So we're going to do it. Just going to have like a normal stove, you know, just like a grey one. Even though I do love these ones. I love the mint ones so much. Now I'm going to go for that style. It's a little bit more retro and I like that. Um, again, we didn't really get like matching overhead counters for this, which is so annoying because I just don't know why they don't, I don't know why the Sims do that. Why can't we just have matching overhead counters for everything? I feel like it's, oh, it's supposed to be these, isn't it? Yeah, vault, but they look stupid. I just feel like it's not the right color. And also now nothing lines up. Oh my gosh, I hate putting these so much. Cause it doesn't snap and I don't want it to be too high up. I don't want it to be too low down. I just want it to be there. That's all I want is for it to be there. Maybe we'll go this like black and white. Hmm, just doesn't make sense and I don't like it. I don't want to. If we just do it like that, merge that one in together, it's 
flickers a bit, but oh well, I'll go over it. Right, so there's the kitchen. Do we, what else do we need in the kitchen? We need, oh, we need a bin. Also, if you can hear Milo crying for me. He's downstairs happily with Reese, but still, he is crying for me, but it's gonna be so hot up here. <sighs> I just hate hearing him cry for me because he's so cute. I just want to sniff him and kiss him all the time. <laughs> but I don't think he enjoys that. I feel like that's all the big appliances we really need. We're just going to clutter it up um, a little bit. All right, I'm kind of happy with that. What do we think? I love I love this dining area. I feel like when the sun comes out, it's going to have the most beautiful shadowing. Just going to add a few more little things into the bookcases. That's one thing that really annoys me about the bookcases. I just feel like they're not full. <laughs> Even though the books are so small compared to the rest of them. Okay, we're going to make this like some huge books, huge elephant books. All right, I think that's the downstairs done, except for the bathroom. We've got to do the bathroom. Do I want to change that? No. Do you want, you want to get down now? I told you, you're going to be way too hot in here. He doesn't know what he wants. Neither do I, so can't really say anything. Right, bathroom. So, mm, I feel like I kind of want to add a bathroom upstairs, even though they haven't. We need an upstairs bathroom and a downstairs bathroom, in my opinion. So the downstairs one can just have like a toilet, maybe a shower. Oh, I really love the jungle adventure shower. It's my favourite one. <laughs> We're using it. It's going to do like a double sink, even though you I don't really need that downstairs but I feel like it's it's quite a fancy build it's definitely been stepped up a level so they're gonna have it and yet yeah, that area you know, I just I don't know I don't know what to put there what about if we just throw a load of like camp oh mm, could we oh I don't know if it'd work okay yeah let's add a laundry machine <laughs> why not and then that backspace is just underneath the stair that nobody can get so it doesn't matter which also means I'm gonna have to add hampers everywhere otherwise life just gets really really annoying we'll have a little like table next to the toilet even though it's that'd be strange what would you need to put on there obviously I'm gonna have to raise them up myself because I made the table smaller I do just feel like the end tables are way too big okay okay <laughs> I quite like it I'm trying to act not add as many plants in this build because and I kind of feel a little bit ridiculous adding all the plants. <laughs> I don't want to be repetitive, but I do feel like ba a bathroom needs a bathroom plant to clear the air. You know what I mean? So like I said, it doesn't matter too much if that sink isn't useful because the other sink is, so all is good. And I always add a little bath, like a little shower mat to my bills just to make it feel a little bit more used. Because you would, you'd have a little thing to put your feet on when you come out of the shower. Let's move upstairs then. Oh my gosh, look at these dancing leaves. Oh, that is nice from the new eagle. Oh look at it we can make it grow that's nice it's got like leaves in it did not know we got that oh just what what you do in hallways what you put in it i'm gonna do like another little side table thing maybe this because i like that it's already filled with stuff and i need to take doors as well again i'm running out of art to put around the house because i've used all the ones that i like maybe we can use the city living ones that are quite nice i feel like they're gonna be too colorful though but why is nothing <laughs> even pop of anything okay we'll have an alexa the alexa to play the music I don't know what to fill this with. I've run out of clutter so quick this time, guys. So quick. I feel like I need more stuff packs. I'm just going to say it. I thought I could get away with not having stuff packs, but because I've started doing more builds without my custom content, I miss. I need more things. I need more things. Let me know in the comments, what stuff packs do you recommend? Next time they're on sale, <laughs> I'm getting them. I want, definitely want that movie hangout one. Also romantic garden stuff because it looks like it's got some really cute new flowers, which I could definitely use. Hallway done. The I don't think I like that light anymore. I'm going to change the light. Although cool concept, I just don't think it's working for what I want. Don't know what I want in life, maybe these. These are fine. If we had a few, there we go. I absolutely adore this bath from Seasons. Like, it's glorious. It's a beautiful bath. Absolutely beautiful. So I think I might actually go ahead and just use that set upstairs. So it's a little bit different from the downstairs bathroom. I'm not going to overclutter this place up too much. Again, I'm just going to take a little shower mat looking thing. We'll use it. I know it's supposed to be concrete, but it's now a shower mat. So all is fine. Right. And the last two rooms. So two bedrooms. Honestly, don't know what else to add. <laughs> really don't know what else to add really struggling we're gonna put some perfume i'm like what else can this is why i add so many plants okay because what else what else can i add i've been adding random things we'll add nail polish now i hate it what else do you add in the bedroom we can add a nice big mirror so we like a good standing mirror here oh this room is so big and i don't know what to fill it with yeah we'll add some like pink vibes to this room you know just just to make it a little bit more exciting which then means that looks cute 
Okay, okay, you know what? I'm not as mad about it. Would, <laughs> would adding two mirrors here be weird? Because I don't want to search for more art. I just want to add another mirror. I want to add like a, you know, a fancy over your dressing mirror. I know, I know it's a lot of mirrors. I do know that. I do realise. It's a fake fireplace and they've got some like decorative suitcases and maybe a plant there. And the suitcases are in pink, so <laughs> we're doing it. So it's not actually a real fireplace. Okay, I need to put something else here that matches. Just real quick, Lois, because been in too long. Okay, what about this? I don't. I don't hate it. And if we put two of them, yeah, that looks fine. And just rug. Finish off the room with a rug because it's getting so hot in here. And I thought this would be a quick video, but it's turned out a super long video because it's been about two hours now. So nice one, me. Congratulations, Lois, for being slow. I'm going to leave it. Okay, I need, I need to just not make the whole room white. So a little bit of wood doesn't look bad. Okay, on to the last room, which is going to be a... I'm going to do it as a toddler's room because I like doing toddler's room. And she can, she can like dinosaurs. It's going to be a little girl's room and she likes dinosaurs and the little baby dinosaurs because I don't think I've ever used that rock. Okay, okay, okay. We've got some cute things from Eco Lifestyle. What else have we got? <laughs> yeah, we've got this gorgeous thing. This absolutely gorgeous carbon. <laughs> love it so much. I love it so much. We're going to make it snowy. Please tell me we've got more kid stuff. Oh, a little activity table. Yes, please. We can put that over there. Maybe we can give the kid like that lamp with the cute leaves on. Give it a little bit of a pink tinge. What do we think? Kind of works. <laughs> also the cloud light. You guys are going to get so bored of me using this cloud light, but I just love it so, so much. It's just really cute. And apparently clouds are my aesthetic now. <laughs> Add some like little dinosaur pictures because as we've already talked about, she loves dinosaurs. <laughs> Loads of little toys down there. I'm gonna give her a bedside table and put this owl lamp on. But I'm gonna size it up because it is real cute. I feel like this is kind of child like. Again, it's just too big and I don't want it to be that big. This bed's so cute though. Look at the little hanging things there. It is really sweet. You wouldn't add plants in a child's room as much as I feel like I really want to. So let's just add a, give her another toy. Bow, maybe a little panda as well. I know they're supposed to be toys and I'm sure as soon as you play in this house, <laughs> the Sims are going to pick them up and put them away. And there we go. <laughs> I actually quite like that. I actually not mad at this room. These cloud lamps are a game changer for toddlers' rooms. I think now we should probably give her some toddler appropriate wallpaper. Her mum is not forcing her to just have grey. What about this with the sparkles? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There is my renovation of Rock Ridge Springs. I did not know it was called that. I'm not 100% on the outside. I feel like it's still a little bit boring, but it's an improvement. Definitely an improvement. So there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below as always. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you next time. Bye.